Hi class, so what I want to do here is I want to walk you through part of the challenge activity for, part, for section 5.2.1, and this is for hypothesis testing a population mean. All right, so let's look at this one here. So a poultry farmer sells eggs classified as large, okay, so which require the mean of the individual eggs to be two ounces. So basically what this is saying is um, there's a, probably a law out there that says if you want to classify to sell your eggs as large, on average they have to be two ounces. Okay, so the Departments of Weight and Measures weighs a random sample of 500 eggs to determine if the mean weight is less than two ounces, and they say at a significance level of 0 0.05. And the results are shown below here. So what you have here is you have uh, some summary statistics and then some T stats and some P values. You see how it says T stat and then P value for a one-tailed test and a P value for a two-tailed test. They also give the corresponding critical values and you have a histogram of the weights of the sample, okay? So it says the population parameter here. So what are they investigating here? Well, they're investigating here, it looks like the mean weight of all eggs on the farm, right? Because they want to know if the mean of all the eggs is at least two ounces. And the sample statistic then here would be the mean weight of the 500 eggs, okay, that they collect. So does the data meet the following requirements for a t-distribution? So you have to pick the randomness. Yes, it's a random sample. And the normality, um, yes. And it's because we didn't say anything about the population being normal. But if you look at the histogram here, the histogram appears to be approximately normal. So we got them, which is great. Perfect. All right, let's try this one here. I'll just do this second one. So a university claims that students can expect to spend a mean of three hours per week on homework for every credit hour of class. Okay, so what that means, if it's a four credit class, you're gonna be spending 12 hours a week on homework. So an administration, the, the administration, excuse me, believes that the number is no longer correct. Okay, they don't, they believe, they, they don't believe, or they believe it's no longer three hours. Notice how they don't say, I think it's greater than three hours or less than three hours, they just think it's no longer three hours. Okay, at the 0 0.05 level of significance, and a survey of uh, surveys a random sample of 300 students. All right, the results of the sample are given below. So again, again, you're given the output, and you're given the histogram. Okay, so it, it it asks, what is the alternative hypothesis here? So they think it is no longer, no longer three hours. So there, we want to investigate their claim that it is not three hours anymore. So then what would the null hypothesis be? So you need to have some base assumption to start with your null hypothesis. And if you're testing to show evidence that it's no longer equal to three hours per credit, three hours per week for every credit hour of class, you'd start with the uh, null hypothesis that, you know what, it is three hours. Let's start with the assumption that it is three and look for evidence to show that it is not three. And look, we got it right there. So I'll leave this next one for you to try here. Okay, it's a little bit harder, involves you writing out what the T statistic is, which you can find here, and the P value going on here, um, and then making a conclusion for it. But as always, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in class and I'll answer them.